Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. So I've had quite a few people ask me, why have I not been uploading to YouTube? And why have I just not been that present on social media or whatsoever? So some of you may or may have not noticed that I haven't uploaded for around 10 days on this channel, which I don't think I've ever gone that long with a gap in between videos for a very, very long time. I should say, since I've been consistent with videos, for months and months and months. There's sometimes been a few days gap, but 10 days, not whatsoever. So yeah, some people have been concerned. So I wanted to be completely transparent with you about what has actually been going on for me and why I've not been posting videos or working or whatsoever, because I do also coach people online. I create supplementation programs, also run an online health product business and various other businesses as well. So I have a lot on my plate, so to speak. So yeah, it's very, very simple as to why I stopped making videos and why I stopped working all together and why I started making some other different lifestyle changes as well. So yeah, basically I had been doing too much. I was helping loads of people. I was trying to make daily videos for a while and I was doing that for a while on this channel and my Sun Fruit Down channel alongside coaching people, creating supplementation programs, having an intimate relationship with someone as well, juggling my gym life with training consistently and just having everyday life things to get on with and so forth. And it just started to take a toll on my mind and body and my mind and body were giving me clear signals that I needed to slow down and that I was just having too much stress in my life. So what I've been doing since about a month ago, I've become very, very conscious and aware of my stress levels even more so than I already had done in the past and started to make necessary changes within my life to reduce my stress and actually give a lot more jobs to my assistant for her to do so I had a lot less to do and just have on my plate, so to speak. But even though I made those changes around a month ago, I caught it a bit too late. So I started to feel really, really drained and depleted. And I started to have no desire to do anything whatsoever. So for around 10 days, um, actually even more, for around 12 or 13 days, I didn't exercise whatsoever which is the longest period that I've ever gone since getting into calisthenics over a year ago. And I was pretty much staying indoors almost all of the time and resting loads and loads and loads and having no expectations of myself and just allowing myself to be on a complete break. So it was like a bit of a resting holiday for me which is not something I normally give myself, but I really, really needed it because I've been putting in so much hard work with so many things. And yeah, it was just starting to not make me feel good whatsoever. So I listened to my body. And yeah, within that period of around 10 days or so, I just hardly ate any food whatsoever. Most days I was eating 500 calories or less because I found my body hardly wanted any food. So I was fasting the majority of every day and doing severe calorie restriction because that's what my body was telling me to do and it was working really well for me. And 90% of the time I was sticking to a, a raw a vegan diet where I was just eating fruit exclusively because it's really easy to digest those foods. And I find when my body needs to rest and regenerate the most, fruits are one of the best foods for me to get those benefits from it. So yeah, it was really, really good. I've gone through this and by actually not being so productive and having so much outward energy, it gave me time to go inwards and reflect upon things that I needed to change within myself and within my life so I can live an even better human experience that's more healthier and balanced for me. And yeah, I realized so many different things that I really wouldn't have realized if I just kept going and going and going. So I used this time in the most beneficial way for me. And I was in a complete state of non-resistance to allow myself to rest 
I didn't feel any desire to train. I didn't feel that I needed to push myself to go and train because there's a lot of people with fitness that are addicted to it and they don't know when to stop. They keep going and going and going. I used to be a person like that years ago. Even when I was depleted, I'd be like, no, you just need to push through and be a man and just like no pain, no gain type of mentality and go into this motivational type of person with this mentality of a motivational speaker. And I would just keep going and going and going and it would have some very serious and negative consequences on my health, holistically. So I've learned from that, but still I was doing way too much. But now where I'm at, I am making the changes that I'm needing to make. And I'm very grateful that I have become aware of them. So I'm just making sure that I am able to thrive the best that I can every single day. And since I've made these changes, I'm not feeling any stress whatsoever. Before I kept going into huge stress response within my body that would come up and then I'd be stuck in it and I would just keep going with working and it was just not good whatsoever. So I just kept forcing myself to keep going and going and going with more work-based things rather than the fitness-based things. And what I can say now is going through that, I even feel more happier and peaceful and content within myself and within my life because I've learned what I've needed to and now I'm more balanced within myself and within my life. And what I also found, having time away from YouTube, it's also made me realize that I don't need to be making daily videos. What I need to be doing is making less frequent videos but producing way, way higher quality videos. So yeah, I'm still gonna post on a weekly basis. I'm not sure how often, I'm not gonna have a set schedule like three times a week, four times a week, I just see how it goes. But expect to see way, way better content from me in the near future. I have a lot of different ideas for a lot of really, really good videos. Some of them are gonna take a very long period of time to do. So it's going to help just push my channel in more of a direction that I would desire and producing quality over quantity, which I think is just the best way to go in my opinion. What's your thoughts on this? And let me know what type of videos that you would like me to make on this channel. If you've got good ideas, leave them down below. And if I think it's worth making a video on, I will make it. And yeah, I am now back on training and I found with coming back to training I am actually stronger than I was before and I've done it for periods of time of resting for around a week or less here and there whilst on my calisthenics journey and every time I find that my strength is just massively improved and when I actually come back to training I even enjoy it way way more because I haven't done it for a while and just appreciate it all around even more which is really really good and yeah, I am going to be consistent with my training as I always have been in the past because I need to sustain the results that I have with my body. And what I say is I did lose a lot of weight for obvious reasons, not training for around that period of time and eating mostly raw foods and hardly any calories. So I did end up losing, if I remember correctly, around four kilos. But now I've started to eat a lot more calories. Within the last three days, my weight has started to massively go up. So what I actually lost was pretty much mostly water weight. But yeah, I didn't want to reduce my calorie intake and not train for any longer than I had done because then I will, well, I would have, should I say, started to sacrifice my muscle mass. And that is the last thing that I want to be doing whatsoever. And something I want to quickly talk about that helped me recover way, way quicker than I would have done without this was actually this CBD oil, which I don't think you'd be able to see it very well in the camera there. But this is Aura Natural Health Organics CBD oil. And this is a four spectrum CBD oil that is organic. And for people that don't know what CBD is, CBD is the non-psychoactive compound that comes from the hemp plant. And it has a wide array of healing benefits 
holistically. And it does not get you higher because it does not have high amounts of the psychoactive compound known as THC in it. So yeah, it's just giving you all of the different amazing health benefits without getting you high because yeah, I do not want to be taking a substance to get high whatsoever. And yeah, this contains an abundance of different amino acids that are naturally occurring, vitamins, minerals, and so many other different micronutrients and also macronutrients as well that just help optimize your hormone production, neurotransmitter production. It also helps massively improve the quality of your sleep. It also helps reduce inflammation, boost your immune system, and the list just goes on and on and on of the amazing different benefits that it can give you. But more specifically, especially for me, yes, all those things that I just mentioned are really, really positive and really help me to recover a lot quicker. But also it is brilliant for helping lower cortisol levels and also helping your body being able to manage a lot more under stressful situations. And when certain things such as certain events happen in your life that are stressful, it's just gonna make you be able to deal with them way, way, easier and for me it just makes me feel so much more calmer and serene throughout the day it feels like i've just done yoga or some type of meditation so for me it just makes life a lot more easier to deal with and i just feel that my mood is a lot more stable throughout the whole day and yeah, it just makes me into a way better person so for me this product is just an amazing CBD oil product out there because what I say is a lot of the CBD oil products out there are complete garbage but I work closely with this company and I've tested it fully for a while now and I've tried so many different ones out there on the market and this is by far one of the best that I have used. They are based in the UK but they can ship worldwide and they do these CBD oil tinctures, CBD oil paste, CBD chocolate, CBD balm, and a variety of other different CBD oil products. And what I'm gonna do is put a link down below for their website in case you're interested in them. But the main one that I tend to use is the 30% strength CBD oil, which is the strongest CBD oil that they have. And normally I'm having around five drops anywhere from once to two times daily. And make sure if you do get this, when you're taking it, that you put it underneath your tongue, hold it for 60 seconds under there, and then swallow it so you can get the full benefits from it. And if there's one last thing I want to leave with you before the video ends, is I just want you to also become possibly more self-aware of things that are causing stress in your life and how you can go about removing certain stressors from your life and working out things to reduce your stress levels and even manage your stress levels and just help you feel the best that you possibly can because stress is one of the things that will massively shorten your maximum life span long term and also it is just a recipe for causing chronic health issues mentally and physically holistically and sickness and disease and it just breaks you down like crazy and if you're someone that's trying to get the greatest gains in the gym possible but you're having a lot of stress it's actually going to have a negative effect on optimizing your muscle mass well actually growing it as much as you possibly can should I even say hmm. It's gonna have a negative effect on your muscle growth and your recovery time after training and also it's gonna make it hard to shift any stubborn body fat that you have. And yeah, the negative effects are so far reaching that I wouldn't even be able to explain them all to you but you can do your research up online. So I just hope that you can maybe learn from my own experience to say it like this doesn't happen to you and so you can go in the direction of making positive change in your life like I have done so I can live the most 
least stressful and happiest life that I possibly can. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. As always, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. And please share this video with anyone you think would like to hear about why I have not been posting YouTube videos recently and what has been going on with me recently. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. And make sure if you want to be notified of when new videos are uploaded that you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. And I will have new ones coming every single week from this point forward. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.